Yo, what's going on guys? It is Evan here, back from the video. So, um, I'm back and I'm here today to record another video and show you guys all about, um, while loops and repeat loops. And there are three different kinds of loops. There's a while loop and there's a repeat loop and there's a for loop. And I'm going to show you guys about the two of them only because the for loop's a little bit more complicated and these aren't that complicated. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm back. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. Um, I'm pretty sure my last story was about built-in functions, and I hope you guys understood that. If you didn't, like always, leave a comment. I will try to explain it as best as I possibly can. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, actually, before we get into it, guys, um, I just want to mention that I'm a little upset right now because my dog doesn't stop barking. And let, let me just say, this is my fifth time recording this video. So um, yeah, just know I do it for you guys. And kind of pissed off right now because my dog wouldn't shut up. And I literally had such a good video, but my dog's barking the whole time. And I didn't realize it. So yeah. Anyways, let's just start. Okay. So while loops. Okay. Um. So, um. Let's show you guys that first. So let's make a variable. We'll call it local hot dogs. Okay. Now hot dogs is equal to five. All right. Now we're gonna do or not one actually. Let's make it one. Now while hot dogs is less than five, do this. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't explain anything yet. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you what all this means. So basically, what we're saying is. We're doing while hot dogs less than five, do something in here. So do whatever's in this box right here or in this like chunk of code. So we're gonna do print um, hello, okay? And then we're also gonna print hot dogs, okay? So um, if you don't understand what I'm trying to say is that if hot, so basically it's like if hot dogs is less than five, do this, right? But it keeps running the if statement almost. Uh, that's actually a bad way to word it. It's basically just checking if this is true. If it's true, do it, okay? So if we ran this right now, I don't want to run it because it's going to crash the entire thing. It'll crash my game, okay? And now it's going to crash the game because it's running so fast, all right, guys? Programs run really fast. And since it's running so fast and it's just not stopping, it will just crash. So that's why you can't really do that, like, infinitely fast. So what you need to do is make sure that the while loop actually ends. Because while loops will go forever unless the condition turns false. So to make it turn false, we're going to increment hot dogs by one. Okay, so we're going to do hot dogs equal to hot dogs plus one. Now, this might look a little confusing. But you're like, why are you setting hot dogs equal to itself? And basically because if we did hot dogs is equal to one, then it would change it to one. Or we did hot dogs equal to two, it would change it to two. But basically what you're doing is you're getting the value of hot dogs, you're adding one, and then you're setting it to hot dogs. So that sounds a little confusing, but basically all you're doing is adding one to hot dogs, okay? That's all you're doing. So... Um, let's go ahead and print it or play play the game and show you what it does. So look at the output here. It prints hello, and then it prints or it prints hello because that's what it happens, right? And then it prints two because the hot dogs value of hot dogs equal to two. And then it prints three or hello three, hello four, hello five, and it stops there. Now why does it stop there? It stops there because it only it's only gonna run if it's less than five. And now it wasn't less than five, okay? So that's why it stops there. And who didn't know there are um, you can actually have an infinite loop and let me show you how you do it right so we're gonna do wait okay this is called a wait function it's another built-in function right and basically this function essentially what it does is um, it just waits right so you can do wait one second and then the, the, whatever number you type in here is like a this is like a second okay so this is five seconds this is one minute because 60 seconds is one minute and then this is point one so this is a tenth of a second right now we're gonna do just wait and now if you don't put a value in here it'll do the lowest possible number and i'm pretty sure it's like a hundred twentieth of a second that's like the lowest possible thing i'm not too sure on that though you might want to look that up but it's it's going to be the lowest possible amount of time it'll wait for okay so you're going to print play and then it's just going to go crazy you see how this scroll bar i scroll up and it's just it's just like flying down because there's just so much stuff here it's just automatically printing so here, let me do this actually we'll do this instead we'll do print hot dogs plus or no ah, never mind okay so um another way you can do this instead of doing the hot dogs thing you can do while true now this is automatically an infinite loop because true is always going to be true so if that, if that makes any sense just while true basically means it will run forever okay if you ever see a while true loop that means it's running forever so what you can do here is you can do print hot dogs or no you can do this instead you can do hot dogs is equal to hot dogs plus one 
and then you can print hot dogs. So basically, it'll it'll still keep going up by one, but it'll never stop because we changed the condition. The condition is now true, and it's just always gonna be three. Or we, or we can do this. We can do three, while three is equal to equal to three, and three is always gonna be equal to three, no matter what. You know, what I'm saying like, is is two ever equal to three? No, three is equal to three, right? Nothing else is equal to three but three. So that if you if you get what I'm saying, then I guess that's a good way to do it. So you can do that, and that means it'll run forever. So it'll just add up numbers forever, infinitely, and my game got a glitch, but it's just going to keep going up forever and ever 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 until it ends, and that will be never, so it will never end. So yeah, that's actually how you make infinite loops like that, and um, yeah, that is one of the ways to do it. You can do it with four loops too, but I don't really, actually, I don't really think you can, I mean, I don't know, but uh, let's show you what um, repeat loops do now. Okay, so... Repeat loops you won't see very often. No one really uses them that often. Um, I don't use them often. Like I, I don't think I've ever used them actually. But I, then again, I, don't know, I guess I'm not like the most advanced scripter you want to say. But I don't really use them that often. I don't think I've ever used them. Maybe once or twice. But um, if you do see a repeat loop, it's probably going to be one line. But I'll show you what it looks like when it's multiple lines. So let me just show you. So um, if you get a little confused, don't worry because you're probably not going to end up using them anyways. But let's just do this. So repeat, enter. Okay. Hey, like, you're like, what the heck is this, okay? Now, basically, the only way repeat loops are different from while loops is because repeat loops will run automatically, all right? Now, even if the condition is not true, so we'll do this, while hot dogs is equal to equal to three, okay? Now, hot dogs not equal to equal to three, so if this was a while loop, so if this was a while loop, then this wouldn't run. Look at that here, printing from the while loop. And then we copy this, printing from the repeat loop. Okay, so look at this, right? If I did this right here, if I if I did this, now hot dogs equal to one, right? So that th that shouldn't run because if it's not true, it won't run. But let me show you. Oh, and there's actually a problem here. I just realized this. Um, the repeat loops will um, keep running because hot dogs until it's equal to three okay you see what i'm saying i, I just probably confused you but it will won't change okay it'll keep running until hot dogs equal to three all right uh, that probably makes no sense but basically the game froze because it's just going to keep running okay it's going to keep running until something's equal to three all right so we can, if we can, if we do this we do hot dog hot dogs is equal to hot dogs plus one hit play now it'll only run three times because it'll be until hot dogs equal to three or i just got an error i don't even know i think my game is crashing right now hello <laughs> okay so printing from the repeat loop okay now the while loop is glitched i'm an idiot i didn't put um a freaking thing and it did equal to three eventually because okay you see what i'm saying ah uh, okay essentially Basically, all you know about repeat loops is that it's going to run no matter what. It's going to run at least one time, okay, because it goes through, and it doesn't, see the it doesn't see the conditional statement until the end, so it automatically just runs it, all right? And um, it'll do something until something is equal to this, okay? I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Just, you'll never use them anyways. Don't worry about it. But um, I just want to give you, like, a, a brief informational background about that. But let's hit no. All right, so let me show you what repeat loops are normally used for. So normally, repeat loops will be written like this. We'll be, they'll be like, repeat, um, print, hello, until, um, hot dogs. Or no, people, no, no, no. Actually, this is what they're used for. Normally, people write like, they're like this. They'll do repeat, wait, until, um, game.players, dot, um, or repeat until game.players, right? So basically, essentially what you're doing is you're waiting for the, it's repeating the wait function, so you're just waiting, right, until the, the players have loaded. Now, this is a bad example because players will never, like, load because, um, but normally they're using local scripts, which local scripts are kind of advanced, so, um, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, don't worry about repeat loops too much. If you're still a little bit confused, don't worry, there, this probably was a bad tutorial about repeat loops, but. To be honest, you don't use them much anyways. And if you do use them, then you'll figure it out along the way, I'm sure. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. 
hope you the video. If you did, subscribe, smash that like button, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.